Hey there everybody. Welcome to another branching out update. Today is Thursday, January the 11th, 2021. Um, there has been a lot of progress. Uh, sorry, it's been a few weeks since I've done one of these, but uh, the, the project has been getting a lot of electrical work done. And that electrical work uh, is a little bit hard to show um, the progress on. But I'll try to uh, explain that to you as I head on into the first grade classroom, which is right next to this mural. So I'll head on into this room. So as I said, it does not look like there's been a lot of progress done. However, if you look at these outlets, these are new outlets that had to be put in. So the cement block had to be cut out and that conduit now runs down through this concrete block and comes out at at the uh, electrical outlet box and there's been many many of these boxes put in um, everywhere here you can see I can focus it a little bit better here you can see uh, the conduit hanging down but up top you had to break a hole through the concrete block to run that conduit down through the wall. And then the electrical will come back out into the ceiling. You can see the etching or the markings on the wall where there will be holes cut out to put in a few extra outlets. And if you go up to the top of the wall, you'll notice the hole broken out so that the conduit can be run down into the wall and into these electrical boxes once they're cut in. Now I'm in the kindergarten room and once again if I pan around this whole room you'll see all the outlets at the bottom of the wall there with the uh, conduit hanging down which is the reason that it doesn't look like a lot's been getting done however it's been a lot of work to get to this point with all this electrical work going on. So all of the electrical in these rooms will be upgraded to all new. We won't be using any of the old electrical. I'm inside what used to be the old janitor's closet, which will end up being the supply room slash teacher lounge. Um, I'll pan over to the corner of this room where you can see that there's some plumbing that's been put in. Uh, there will be a sink put into this room, just like the classrooms. There's really not much to show on the outside of the office here, other than the fact that they've just put uh, plastic over the windows to keep the dust down. You'll hear the noise in the background. They're working on some of the electrical in the hallway. So now I'm inside the principal's office. Uh, you can see that the foam insulation has been put into the walls before the drywall goes up. Um, I'm going to step into the pre-school room next door. Next, uh, you'll see that a lot of the drywall has been put up. This, once again, is the uh, principal's office and I'll walk into the school office. I've been told by the managers here that it's an aggressive schedule to try to get this uh, office moved sometime in March. So maybe towards the end of March. So this is the office of the preschool room. This will be Kelly Monroe's office. You can see the drywall is now being put up and the insulation has been put into these walls before all this drywall went up. So the windows still need to be cut out, but they're gonna hold off on that. 
keep some of the heat in for a little bit before uh, they cut the drywall for the windows. You can now see that the uh, drywall has been completed on the bathroom of the preschool room. Here is that electrical box that's actually been cut through the wall. Uh, this is the back side. That poor little heater trying to heat up this big, big room. So this is last year's National Lutheran Schools Week photo. Uh, because of COVID, we weren't able to do that this year. But just a reminder that this is the reason we do what we do here.